we are testing out to see the conclusions of. Okay, which two coils are we doing? Uh, the 30 gauge and the 26 gauge. And which wire is thinner? The 30 gauge. Okay. The bottom one I expect is the 30 gauge. And it is. So, on channel one is the yellow wire, and the yellow wire is going to the 26 gauge, and on channel two is the green wire, and that's going to the 30 gauge, and the lower channel is channel two. So you're spinning it at the same speed, and yet the bottom one has got a much higher peak. So, so that's what does that mean? 30 gauge is the winner. Okay, why do you think it's better? What does 30 gauge mean? It's thinner. Okay, but thinner, why is thinner better? What does it mean to the number of windings on a coil? Is the thinner wire going to have more windings or fewer? More windings. So more windings is going to produce a higher voltage. Now, let's compare our center one we're going to compare the 22 gauge now. So I'm going to move the green over to 22 gauge. So now we're comparing 22 gauge and 26 gauge. So spin it. And which one do you think is highest? 26. So 22 gauge is the smallest peak, 26 is next, and then 30 gauge, right? 30, so 30 gauge is the winner. 